Carrying out that testing was Dr. Scott Miskovich with Premier Medical Group Hawaii. He says the state is in trouble in regards to testing, calling for a quicker turnaround on tests while also issuing a dire warning to young people. Sam Spangler has more in a story that's new at 10. Dr. Miskovich is worried about Hawaii's testing capacity as well as turnaround time, but he's also concerned about new COVID-19 research that some young people are getting heart damage, which could lead to premature deaths down the road. It's called viral myocarditis, a condition that Miskovich says weakens the general muscle of the heart. And that is happening upwards of 50% of the people who are hospitalized with COVID will end up with some kind of cardiac damage. Some will be more severe than others. When you have that much damage to your heart muscle, so not only are you going to be short of breath walking from a chair to the bathroom, you're probably barely going to survive five years. So far, just 25 people aged 20 to 39 years old in Hawaii have been hospitalized. Yet that same demographic makes up the highest number of positive cases here. Dr. Miskovich says young people need to start looking at the long term. We keep focusing on the immediate loss of life, but the loss of life we're going to see at all age groups going forward from COVID is going to be devastating. And we can't even count it right now what it's going to look like moving on one year, two years, five years from now. Which is why Dr. Miskovich is adamant about boosting our testing capabilities here in Hawaii. He's pushing for all tests to be turned around in 24 hours, not just priority tests like nursing homes or medical workers. Many tests sent to mainland labs take four to five days for results. I wish we had those in 24 hours. That's what you need to fight COVID. That's how you stop COVID because even with these people that are, you know, going through these broad screenings, we're going to find positives, but it's already five days out. It's something he thinks needs to be addressed immediately to help from having Hawaii's hospitals maxed past capacity. Right now, our intensive cares are almost over the limit. We've already been given the word that there's going to be preparation to potentially be building an emergency pop-up hospital here right now. I also asked Dr. Miskovich if he thought the recent surge in COVID-19 cases could be curved with the new restrictions that were implemented last week. He said that no, it would take a four-week lockdown for two viral cycles. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working.